Hello Collective. Welcome. Welcome to my channel, Majestic Notion. So I wanted to interrupt the zodiac signs because Spirit is guiding me to do this reading. This is all about a testament to your faith. How far you have come. We're going to tap into a little bit of the things that you have endured up to this point. How you've overcome that. And to not be so hard on yourself for where you've been. Um, and then we're going to see where you're headed from this point forward. And why certain things happen to you. It may have to do because of who you truly are. It may have to do with your purpose in life. So we're going to get into that. You may want to grab some tea or something. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. A blanket if you're cold. You may want to turn on the AC if you're hot. <laughs> Whatever works for you, okay? Welcome to all my day ones. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this message resonates for you, please hit that like button. It is, it is much appreciated. You know, guys, we often go through similar things in life. Although every situation is different, the overall impact of the things that we have gone through is what really shapes and molds our character. And what we do with those lessons, or what we do with what has been thrown at us, is the important part. Not everybody is resilient. Not everybody can transmute something negative into something positive and into their power. But for those who I'm talking to, this is a testament to your faith. Because you had faith through it all, 222 on the clock, and you're overcoming many things, many setbacks, and many stones cast upon you. Okay? So let's get into it. And when I split the deck here, we have growth and risk. Some of you have been indoors, in isolation, in hermit mode, figuring yourselves out, honing in to who you are, where you come from, why you endured this, understanding that why, and kind of like in disbelief, some of you. You know, many things go through our minds. Disappointment in those who we thought were going to be there for us. Disappointment in people and family and friends and relationships of all kinds. Disappointment in how certain things felt unfair, got taken from us, or, you know, opportunities that were presented that other, others probably stole from us. You know, we, we have sucked it up many times, over and over again. And here we sit in the grove with our own energy, with understanding and forgiveness, and self-forgiveness on top of that. Very important. Talking to my strong warriors out here who are resilient who understand that holding a grudge is not going to help you. So you forgive. You keep getting up and you keep moving forward. You marinate on these trials and tribulations that you've been through. You analyze. You reflect. But then you understand Look how far I've come. Look at who I am at this point in time. Who I am becoming. How much stronger I am. How much more I can see when it comes to people, places, things, actions. You are able to see people 
from a whole nother perspective understanding that everybody works from their level of perspective as well and traumas and unfortunately not everyone surpasses their demons but you have and every demon that is cast upon you thrown at you you defeat whether it's your own or by others sent by others you're getting ready to fly and to take a leap a risk I'm hearing risk it all you're ready to do something that you've never done before 21 31 you are leaving a part of yourself behind you know once you jump from that cliff there is no jumping back on it right it's too high up over there it's impossible unless somebody helps you you know get back up or you're willing to climb that but you already did the climbing and now you're free falling into another reality understanding that spirit will cushion your fall because of the work that you've done on yourself the inner work and because you trust and you have faith a testament to your faith for everything that you've been through is about to be shown to you with proof with honor because you have been guided and you trusted in something you cannot see and you deserve the best you deserve to fly you deserve your best life even if you feel you have the best life right now it only gets better every single time you have faith and you are required to take this leap it gets easier and easier for you because you trust you have proof every day when you look around what you have at this moment you have food on the table you have clothes on your back you appreciate everything that you have because you see where others are at and you have met or seen others that have less than you and you are grateful I'm picking up on an energy of those of you who understand compassion okay you're leaving your woes at the door you are have no baggage at all it's just you in this white dress or suit male or female of purity being cleansed of all those heavy burdens and we're not saying that you won't encounter certain things along the path but you're better equipped now to see it coming and when you don't you'll know how to deal with those things it's going to get better and better for you every step of the way because you endured and you have faith okay so let's see what else we got for you let's go ahead and shuffle these we all fall into the pit of snakes sometimes but it is ourselves our wit our wisdom our mind our consciousness our ability to check how we feel at that particular moment so that we can climb out of that pit And 
they were all lessons. Nothing went in vain. It's like an obstacle course in life where there's booby traps, things that come out of left field, and it's all for your highest good. And for the highest good of those that you encounter because you've been there. A lot of you are here to heal others because you've learned to heal yourself. Simply by being you, becoming an inspiration to others, lending some wisdom to others. We all have to go through our trials. But at least you can plant the seed of hope. Right? All right, so let's see what's going on here. Acceptance. That's really important. Self-acceptance. Accepting that sometimes people may not vibe with you because you're different. Accepting the things that have happened to you along the way and take what resonates for you here. The acceptance that things change and so do you. You outgrow situations. Accepting that, you know, Sometimes people can't meet you where you're at, and that's okay. You have faith. You go where spirit takes you. You're on a journey. And even though that can feel lonely sometimes, you will be guided to certain moments in your life where there will you will feel bliss, and you will meet people alike. But you are aligning to certain situations, opportunities, by also accepting your, your faults. Okay? And allowing yourself to grow and to be honest with yourself so that you can continue to move forward. Okay? So a lot of you are accepting things for what they are. It is what it is kind of energy. And I'm hearing that song, Nothing's Gonna Stop Me Now. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Whoa, whoa. Okay. And if this world rose out of lovers, we still have each other. Okay. So what I'm getting there is like, if this world runs out of people that we can connect with, there's always you and spirit. Always. And there will always be one person. See, the more different you are, the less popular you are, right? The more you know who you are, the less popular you become. Because a lot of people are focused outward and not inward and don't understand who they are. They've been taught to live amongst others a specific way. Clicks, you know, what, what is cool, what is not cool. Everybody's wearing a, a mask, a persona. A lot of people are coming out out of that but a lot of people are stuck in that so I know that you guys have been made fun of talked about gossiped about a lot of you guys never felt like you fit in in an, any specific group you didn't understand why you just knew that you just didn't vibe there but you tried you try to appease others by dimming your own light you try to give people the benefit of the doubt and then they stabbed you in the back. Okay? They betrayed you in some way. They disappointed you. Friendships, family members, lovers. But that's what you are reflecting on. And you have been. Because you understand also your own faults. And it's because you weren't looking within to understand who you were at that time. 
you were just living life as you thought that you were supposed to live life. And you were learning, you were observing, and you were actually gaining things. I feel like a lot of you sit back and watch people a lot. And even though you've participated in certain groups and you were betrayed there, or let down, or disappointed, rejected even, some of you, by all types of people. You know, people can be really cruel when they see someone that's different. And a lot of people can see your light before you even do. You know, when you don't have self-love and self-worth, it's very easy to fall prey of the vultures, of, you know, negative lower vibrational energies because you yourself are in a lower vibration at that specific time. But it was all a learning curve for you to find your power and for you to have faith in yourself and, and in spirit. So you're accepting it all. Okay. High Priestess of Fire. Look at that. It's giving me rising of the phoenix. Burn, baby burn. Look at that. Look at the change. You're unrecognizable to a lot of people. There could be people gossiping about you right now. That, you know, make fake pages and watch you on social media. Or people that you just haven't blocked yet, but you no longer talk to. Family members that see you from time to time. They don't tell you that you look different. Or you seem like you've changed. Because they don't want to boost your ego. Not at all. But look at you shining. If you notice a lot of people may be even quiet around you. They don't know what to make of you. There's nothing they can tell you. You have opened the door to spirit with the high priestess of fire. You understood that there was something more behind that curtain. That this wasn't the end all be all. That these people that you, you were surrounded with were not your people. You always felt different. You have the key to the universe. To me, when I see the high priestess and I see the curtain, to me, the universe is behind that. Spirit, a vast space. Some of you are cosmic beings. That's why you always felt out of place. You have a purpose. And with the grove and this card, you have been learning. You have been quiet, but never blind. You are working in silence. You are gaining your power, your ambition, your passion for what you connect with now. You're embracing who you are. You are in your power. You're about to take that leap of faith somewhere. With a newfound sense of self, knowledge, and wisdom. Understanding that what's behind that veil is infinite and eternal. Okay? Some of you astral travel. In your dream state or meditative state. And you, and spirit is showing you things that only you know. Everybody's situation is different. The way they see information is different. The way they receive information from spirit is different. There are certain things that are similar, absolutely. But many things are being revealed to you at this time. You are trusting wholeheartedly in your intuition. You are honing into your spiritual gifts because we all have them. But if, if, if there's people that are not doing this type of inner work and inner standing, they can't tap into them till they start going within. And that's exactly what you're doing. This is beautiful. 
You are rising like never before. You have never seen yourself in this particular energy at this particular moment. It's a whole new you with a whole new level of higher perspective. You are glowing. Some of you are looking young for your age at this time. So much has changed with number five being here. Number six, a very tough spiritual journey with many lessons learned. You are headed towards calmer waters and I just heard serendipity. Trust and believe because you become what you believe. Absolutely. You are honing in to your manifestation skills where you are manifesting huge things for yourself. I see it coming. I know you do too. 2121 on the clock. That's the world card in tarot. You have come full circle. And it's time for the fool and the new beginning with the world. You have cleared a lot of karma. And you are being gifted with really good karma because of all this work. It's leading you somewhere. But I almost feel like when you jump off that cliff, spirit has a blindfold over your eyes because you have to just trust, right? Taking a leap of faith requires trust. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised of whatever that is after you jump. You've climbed a very tall mountain. But remember, there's always another mountain in the distant horizon. But this time, you are prepared for whatever comes next in the future. You know, because life is a wave of many things. But when you clear out some bad karma in your life, and you heal, and you're growing, and you're accepting, it's like rolling with the punches. Okay? Let's get another card here. Wow. The Merkaba. Movement, long distance, travel, and excitement. Let me tell you what. This is like self-mastery. Mastering every part of yourself through trials, tribulations, through pain. Transmuting pain, grief, anger animosity, rage, resentment, all into your power. You're harnessing all of this and look at this, how beautiful. Look at this power of lightning. It's like something comes together and just... This is beautiful. Number 33 is a master number. Some of you have a great purpose because 33, whether this is your life path number or your birth date adds up to 33 somehow, some way. 33 vertebrates, kundalini rising, which I know you guys probably went through through your period of isolation. To me, this is mastery. beautiful and some of you are in that path this year so whether you're there or you're headed there with this change and acceptance wow this tells me you have endured quite a bit but you still got back up you still have faith and now you love yourself for who you really are you are finding out who you really are And you remain compassionate instead of, you know, tit for tat or, you know, which is a vicious cycle to be in. It doesn't help anything. It doesn't help anyone when they do that. And, you know, I'm sure you've met those people. 
that they would prefer to, you know, win at all costs, you know, do unto others what is done unto them instead of surpassing their own ego. You surpassed your ego. You've had an ego death. You're not prideful. You're just, you have a short tolerance for bullshit. Because now you know better. Forbidden. Number 18. Adding up to 9. You close the chapter in your life. And it is no longer a part of you. You have passed through the portal. And no one can penetrate this. You, my darling, are forbidden. Not from this portal. You passed through it, and the door was closed shut, and you are being protected. No one that hurt you or caused harm to you can penetrate this stone wall. You did, as a high priestess, you went behind the veil. You are the child of the universe, darling. You have the rite of passage. No one else. You're looking back to see how far you've come. That's it. The door closed behind you, and it's a whole nother world. You could have entered the new world already, or you're on your way. In a dimensional sense, in a higher vibrational frequency, energy. As the high priestess, I mean... And number 33, a lot of you are meant to be spiritual teachers. A lot of you have the knowledge of a spiritual teacher, but you may choose to do something else that is of service to others, like healing or mentoring, okay? Healing through certain products you make. No matter how big or small, you can choose to do what it is you love to do. That has to do with your purpose. Whatever that, you know, however that resonates for you. Beautiful. Discipline. Look at that. Yeah, you are a warrior here. You've had discipline. You went through your training with spirit. Spirit was showing you, right? I'm getting Rome wasn't built in a day here. You were a warrior in training. And you had discipline. You accepted your journey as well and your purpose. You knew that you had to become a warrior. That's what you're becoming. Okay, there's many ranks to this. Many levels to this. You are one of God's warriors. You're uncovering this for yourself. This is very special. And God trusted you for this very thing, this very purpose. Everybody has a purpose, and everybody's purpose is very different. But you have a very powerful purpose. You are definitely mastering yourself. No matter how long it takes, the power is within you. And is exuding from your every pore. You don't even have to say a word. Look at that. Third eye. All that information just pounding on your third eye. No, 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 no. Picking up on everything. Visions manifesting meditation. While you were at the grove, you were manifesting. Some of you are getting into the manifestation. I would suggest it highly. It's how you go within and you see things. Um, spirit will show you things. Where you see the truth. Your inner world. Right? We've been taught to look outward. But we also have an inner world. Because we're multidimensional beings. Living in parallel realities. And those who aren't going within, 
are blind to the truth. Those who were conditioned to look outside of themselves and hand over their power to those who are using your energy, your power to manifest their best life, no more. You're harvesting your own power. You're gaining insight, understanding who you are within. You're getting the answers, the truth, not the omitted truth that they want you to believe or a truth that is manipulated by man. No, this is your truth. Because we all have a truth within us, but we must be awakened to see it with our third eye. This is freaking beautiful. All right. So let's get some tarot, guys. Let's see what else we got here for you. Look at that. Look at that. Some of you are earth angels, if you resonate with that. But spirit is here making sure. You're, this is alchemy with the magician. This is the path. This is the light. You are honing in on your manifestation skills. As within, so without, right? As above, so below. You are learning alchemy. Let's see what else here. And you will gain wish fulfillment. How did you do it? People are going to wonder. Look at that. There it is. You're manifesting it right there. Tangible. You are manifesting something that you are looking at, or you will be, and you will be holding it, that is worth something. Could be a brand new house for some of you. Could be the money to attain the brand new house. Could be marriage. Could be all of the above. One more show. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. This path you're on, look at how this, it's leading to the fairy tale, okay, if you want to call it that. The Ten of Cups. The happy, one of the happiest cards in the deck next to the sun. Happy life, happy family, whatever that means to you, whether it's your own children, whether it's your mother, your father, your, 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 your sister, your brother, your uncle, your aunt, whoever it is that you really connect to, whether this is with someone new, a lover, the love of your life, the outcome is a good one, <laughs> a great one. So keep it trucking. <laughs> you got this. Wow. Knight of Swords. You're going to start. Look at this. You're a warrior on the go. Now, now you're riding this horse. Now you're like, yeah, <laughs> come at me. <laughs> I got something for that ass. <laughs> yeah, you're ready. Anybody get in my way. I got the sword. <laughs> I am geared up, ready. Okay? <laughs> That's too funny. Ready, willing, and able. On your white horse, hello. You would take nothing else. Purity, baby. <laughs> I love that. The moon. You accepted your own shadow here as well, and that, you know, in this life, Light cannot live without darkness, and darkness cannot live without light. And that this is the duality of human beings on this earth. And the duality of life. Many things came to the surface for you. Enough for you to accept them and keep it moving. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Guys. The Hierophant with the Merkaba and 33. This is master energy. This is you providing a service from what you know from mas self-mastery. This is God handing you, you know, um, the crown here for you to speak your truth. Look at that. With the high priestess. God made you in his likeness and you figuring out your power. Sitting on his throne, her throne, however you want to look at it. God is very comfortable within your energy right now. He is powering you up. And you are protected big time. He trusts you with some sort of purpose here. This is big. Okay. It's big because it's going to impact others. Like I said, no matter what you do, no matter how big or small, it's still a huge impact because it impacts others in such a positive way. You're bringing light to darkness. You are the torch. In everyone else's darkness. Yes, you will trigger those who are still fighting with their inner demons. But it isn't what they think. It's because you are the light. You are the torch. You are the person that guides the way. You are the muse. You are the inspiration. By being you, being in your purpose, and providing a service no matter how you do. It could be you showing up with a smile on your face and saying a few choice words. And you just... You illuminate something for someone. It's that simple. It wasn't simple to get to this point, obviously, but you are being trusted because you trusted in the Most High, Source, God, however that works for you, and Spirit. Duet. Okay, some of you being drawn to the this person with the hoodie by the tree, feeling alone, okay, rejected. But this card says duet on it. Um, you know, the meaning of it. it it's giving me like... Um, <laughs> it, it, for some reason, it's giving me like a draw. Like, you know, you're ready to like fight the opposition. Is you know, And it doesn't have to be physically, of course. But with who you're becoming. Because you are a warrior. You have been trained by spirit to be a warrior. A spiritual warrior you're casting out demons for other people you understand what I'm saying you're setting people free from the chains that bind them that are connected to lower vibrational energies you know the devil's domain the devil's playground and some people they're not ready to give up the party of course they're not they're living in their shadow and they're doing good and you're not doing good that they think they're doing good um, but you know that gets old and there will be a tower moment in those people's lives you know sometimes God intervenes in a way where he wants to shake you up a little bit right and sometimes it's a uh, like one of those um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Near-death experiences. He does that to people. To check them. To shake them up a little bit. Because they're going down the, the rabbit hole to their shadow and doing too much. And some people don't pay attention. So he might shake them up again. Or he might remove someone or something from their life that they really, you know, 
are attached to. Um, to get people to surpass these demons that have a hold of them. Because, you know, they're doing too much a certain way. That's why the tower moment comes. That That's a tower moment, you know. And you, you guys could have went through a tower moment yourselves. But it was to turn your whole life around. So everything was, you know, taken apart because it was faulty to begin with. And he wanted you to rebuild yourself so that you can rebuild that solid foundation for one's energy that we saw here. Yeah. Self-protection, protection by spirit, and acceptance with the moon. You're blocking anyone that comes to you in this low vibrational way and that has hidden motives or intentions towards you. You're the high priestess. You can pick it up just like that. Yeah, this is sheet music. This is what I'm getting here. This is source, spirit, giving you what it is you need to know. This is writing. I heard the writings on the wall. I'm hearing um, written in stone. Oh, wow. Woo. Okay. The Ten Commandments. This is God giving you the Ten Commandments. Sheet, music, I'm getting written in stone. I see this card, the Hierophant, as the Most High. You, yeah, God has given you or will be giving you specific instructions here. Specific. Either you already got this download or you're about to get it. And you're about to be powered with some sort of wisdom here. Uh, because you are mastering yourself here. Wor working through you. There's a lot of energy coming to you. Um, you will have some sort of knowledge here. That really, it's like go time. That's why. That's probably why the Knight of Swords is here. You came out of the shadow. It's go time for you. It's You're getting ready to do something here. Okay, you're about to speak the word of something. It could even be through music for some of you. It could be poetry. Okay, but there is something you're going to be speaking that comes from the Most High here. It could be a prophecy. Okay, some of you are prophets. Something is going to be said, shown to you in a dream. You're going to hear it. Something here. You're definitely being initiated here by the Most High and protected. Protect whatever this is with what you all, all that you have. You are working. Okay, I see it now. Duet. Scripture. You are working together with Spirit and the Most High. You have a major purpose here that you are aligning to. Okay. Something may be coming at you like a bat out of hell too is what I'm getting here. But you're a warrior. You're going to be able to, to um, see what this is. Wheel of Fortune. Something's shifting fast. There will be someone here you're meeting here. With duet here. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Jupiter vibes. Okay. Sagittarius energy. Some of you could have Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Or Aquarius in Jupiter. But the wheel's turning in your favor quickly. Okay, so you're being catapulted forward quickly. King of Pentacles. There you go. There's that coin again. Yeah, some of you have Taurus and Jupiter. 
for some of you, somebody's coming into your life that is very protective and is destined to meet you. They're going to be a protector, a provider for you in some way. Doesn't mean that you're not going to work and do something, but you do have a purpose that spirit source is sending someone to protect you so that you have the time to do what this is. Okay? Because you do need protection, which you are protected, but you also need protection from someone in the physical. This is physical, tangible. Destined to meet someone here. Husband energy. So you either you're the husband and you're meeting a queen of pentacles, or this is a husband coming to you. This is someone you or this is a, a partner. A, a, a person you will work with financially or on this purpose. It could be a friend. doesn't have to be a lover. But, you know, take it how it resonates. This, is, this person is significant. It's going to play a significant role in your life. And they are very protective of dark forces. So this could also be a warrior is what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Yeah. You are going to get a message, possibly through your dream state or meditation. Okay, so take some time. Even if you're like walking on the beach by yourself without distractions or you're sitting in your room meditating, make sure if you're listening to music that it's low enough for you to hear some sort of message. This could be coming from your higher self. Okay? But there is something here. That you're going to decipher and master here. This could also be like something, because I'm getting green emerald tablets here. Okay. Some of you, if you listen to the emerald tablets here on YouTube, like maybe while you're meditating or sleeping, you might get some sort of um, message there from that. It could even be from where you're from, because um, I feel like this is connected to your lineage, uh, some sort of bloodline as well here. Yeah, this is gonna feel a little confusing at first, but you're you're gonna you're gonna find clarity here. You speak the word of God is what I'm getting. And it doesn't have to be through the Bible or through, you know, it, you know, for some of you, yes. Um, but for some of you, it's spiritual. Okay, so take it how it resonates here. It's going to be different for all of you. Yeah. People are trying to send you energy and it could even be family. With the nine of eight of wands to the nine of wands, that's somebody trying to send, like they're speaking ill on your name, to wound you, to end you, because this is the nine of wands, right? They want one of these wands to be the ten of wands, along with the death card, and it's because you are achieving this. Wow. This could be people you worked with. They're having sleepless nights because I feel, yeah, this is could be someone in specific that was in their ego here. They could have Leo. I mean, I, I, I heard Leo, but they could have fire or air in their chart. Or this is two people that you worked with that are sending you like some bad energy. They want to keep wounding you, but it's because you're happy and you're and you're attaining this, you're achieving this. Yeah, these are people that betrayed you. Probably talking together, having a conversation about how they betrayed you. Yeah, they're under judgment. See all these people down here? These are people that need to repent. People that have been stripped of everything. Because they have done wrong to others. It's right next to the Ten of Swords. They are being judged for what they did. And there's two people 
Very specific here. Two people betrayed you here, big time, and wanted to, to end you. And spirit is, they're being judged. They have to come back in another lifetime with nothing. Meaning, they're not going to have, they're not going to be born into, like, you know, wealth or anything. No, they're going to be born into poverty. Like starting from ground zero energy. Because they have, these are people that have not healed. And their inner demons, they didn't, they didn't learn from their inner demons. They allowed their inner demons to be their demise because of pride and ego this is nuts this could even be like friends that these two are like friends this is uh, definitely people you worked with or they see you minding your business and working and they want to betray you yeah you had the rite of passage you're moving forward with the chariot for some of you these people are going, getting arrested for something there's the uh, Ace of Pentacles. There could be a few people here in regret about how they treated you. Okay? Because you're going to be blessed here. And you're not looking back. Yeah. Look at this. You are enlightened, compassionate, intuitive self-nurturing and nurturing to others you are enlightened with the sun look at that light that you emanate you have healed your childhood wounds look at that self-love self-love so not only are you getting love in your life you're also getting some sort of blessing or opportunity here okay I feel like you're about to meet a healing connection. This person could be awakened as well with the King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy here. Yeah. I feel because of what you went through here. When this comes to you, you're going to analyze it. And it's going to make you reflect on what other people did to you in the past before you make a choice on this okay so something about this is going to spark wounds old wounds because it's gonna make you think about I don't know do I want to invest in love again uh, because something is coming for you but it's because it's meant to this person um, has uh, good intentions with the king of cup the lovers and they're awakened this is a higher level con connection with the king and queen of cups here okay but it is going to put you in your head a little bit because you've been hurt in love a lot. Five of Wands with the Three of Swords. People have hurt you a lot. So you've become a little more... Not cold. That's not the word. But you've become a little more guarded when it comes to love. Because you're trying to protect yourself, right? But this person, this is a high level commitment here. Okay, King of Cups, the Lovers, Hangman, with the Queen of Cups, the Sun, and the Ace of Cups. This is definitely someone you can trust. You both have a cup, and you both filling this cup up, because you both have self-love. Very passionate, very emotional connection, and very high vibrational. That's beautiful. So... Know that whoever shows up, you're going to be able to see and feel this energy. And that's going to allow you to um, make the right choice or decision here when it comes to love. Okay? You're both very nurturing and intuitive. This is also a very healing connection. And, I, and I'm hearing sexual healing as well here. Two people that have healed their inner child coming together. That's beautiful. Okay? So, you know, you deserve that. And I feel like maybe you both have been hurt in love with the Five of Wands here. Yeah, look at that. It's time for happiness and for some sort of union with this person. Spirit is asking you to trust, right? They're pushing you into love. <laughs> you just got to trust. That's funny. Okay. 
yeah. There's definitely somebody that's unbalanced here, some people here with the five of swords, jealous, talking shit, gossiping. Again, these people they don't they don't understand alchemy and their their equilibrium is off. These are people in a very low vibration with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Jealous. Okay. Alright. So let's see what else collective here. We're going to use my Dimensions Oracle. Yeah. Okay. Play with fire. You're bound to get burned. Justice, fairness, light as a feather. You know, so a lot of you got burned, you know, by love or, or you know, friendships that, uh, again, were a huge disappointment. But that's okay. You're surpassing all of it. Exactly. Going the distance, overcoming obstacles, perseverance. There you go. So you see how the temperance card had the little trail in the light? There you are. You're on your path. The sun is on your path. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. Commitment. Engagement. Higher level connection. Beautiful. And you got the sun there as well. Sunlight. Abundance, royalty, prosperity. 777. You are unlocking the vault to prosperity and abundance. Okay? In this particular sense, this peacock is about royalty and prosperity. And you have the rainbow here. You're right here with the wheel of fortune here. Beautiful. So luck is changing for you and it will happen quickly. Shadow work, pain and release. So this King of Pentacles that you're destined to meet here is going through their shadow. Okay? This could also be you going through your shadow work. Yeah. Yeah, watch out for the Dark Cupid. Karmic soul ties with the Seven of Cups. And watch out for false spiritualists that try to mimic your energy so that they can bind themselves to you so watch out for karmic ties okay that may be why source is going to give you some sort of message somehow some way to warn you about someone here trying to cause smoke and mirrors you know we all have certain karmic situations that's how we learn our lessons but you're in the energy of meeting someone because you're in the energy of abundance prosperity things are looking better for you because the wheel of fortune is here meaning you don't need to be involved with these karmics here but somebody may be trying to come in as a false mentor or a false prophet in your life because they're trying to match your energy so be careful with that okay For some of you, you're, you are spiritual and someone here is religious, but they're going to try to confuse you. And I feel like that could have to do with a king of swords and, and, that, and that king of wands. So maybe for some of you, this is something they're working on. And okay. So somebody is working together on something. That's what this is at night. To betray you to unalive some of you okay you're a warrior here God is not gonna let this happen you're protected they're under judgment so they're already being watched they could be investigated they're gonna go to jail here so that's why this is here these people are going to jail definitely oh yeah 
they're going to jail. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Or how they're going to go to jail, but they're being watched. So something's happening. And Spirit can use anything or anyone to get these people um, um, exposed for what they're doing here. So this, this is two karmics trying to go up against you here. Internal voyage, journey, pathway, and insights. Come along and ride on a fantastic voyage. So you're on a voyage. This is like the in-between, right? Journey, pathway, insight. This is like when you walk behind the veil. Exactly. And this is where you're at. Looking at things. Spirit showing you things. Some of you are, um, spirit is taking you through a little trip through the universe. Okay. But you're, you're definitely understanding some things here. You're getting insights because you're going within. You're seeing your world from within. You're not just an empty vessel. You are an eternal being. Conscious being. Many things are happening in there. Because you are the universe encapsulated in human form. Right? A spiritual being first and foremost. Having a human experience. And you're understanding that. Yeah, open mind, open heart, and receptive. So this King of Pentacles, whether this is you or someone coming into your life, the shadow work has been done, the protection is set, or is being done, the pain is being released, and we're opening our heart chakras again. Open mind, open heart, and receptive. Beautiful energy. That's exactly what you've been working on. And shadow work is essential to go through your awakening and healing those childhood traumas. For those of those people that avoid this, they can't open their third eye. Look at this. You see what I'm saying? Goddess, you are a part of something much bigger. A lot of you are here to talk about these karmic ties and set people free from these karmic ties and that's part of your purpose because those are those are connections that are made that we have to clear because they were already made but they're tied to the devil because they're tied to your shadow low vibrational energies these are connections that you make even in past lives and it's because you created some sort of tie there and there was some sort of bad karma that ensued there. And the only way to clear that karma is to learn the lesson and do better, of course. These people that are still in that low vibration, that they just get involved in karmic, karmic, karmic situations, like I said, that are under judgment, are being stripped of everything because they're not learning even though they know they should do better. Those are people in a more manipulative, you know, Letting their demons be their demise type of energy. These are people that lack compassion, empathy, that type of energy. And you are here to basically speak on this, is what I'm seeing here. To set people free from their karmic ties. Because, you know, people get stuck in that hamster wheel when they don't know better. Okay, this relationship is abusive or, you know, not all karmic relationships are abusive, but they're here to teach you some tough lessons. Okay, because not everybody is a narcissist, of course. Some people are just in a lower vibration. They have no self-love. So you have two people with no self-love. Nothing's going to flourish or blossom there. Because when you don't love yourself, there is no way you can truly love someone else in the right way. Those are karmic ties. And they come in, you know, so-so connections to really bad connections to, you know. It, they're meant to be lessons, okay, basically. You are meant to surpass these types of connections. Whether it's this lifetime or three, four, or five lifetimes from now, eventually, okay. But a lot of you, that's what you're coming out of now. And that's why this lifetime you have a purpose here. And it is to speak on these karmic ties. So you're basically the key that sets people free and unlocks the chains that bind them. 
and by understanding that if they don't surpass their own demons, they become their own demise. Okay, and of course, not everybody's going to heal and, you know, they're just going to live their life and blah, blah, blah. All right. Yeah. New projects, epiphanies, creative ideas and support. So you see how your mind is full of ideas because your mind is set free. It's out into the universe. You are a sponge for information. So whatever this is that you're manifesting to create more abundance finances for yourself prosperity for yourself which is here destined for you to tap into you are going to have and you are going to run with it and you're going to make it possible so no matter what that looks like for you right now trust in yourself and believe that you will have it you become what you believe and you're going to see your own power it's going to surprise the shit out of you okay so i do see you know we saw the ace of pentacles that is an opportunity. That is the, right? You asked for it. God's handing it to you. And you're manifesting it. You're, you're taking it and making use of it for yourself. Could be through your purpose. You could also get help through opportunities by working with someone in specific. Whether this is a work partner or a lover or both. All right. What's behind that? Yeah, some will try to copy you, but you are often imitated, never duplicated. There is no one like you. That's part of your power. You are you for a reason, okay? There could be a karmic here trying to dress like you, act like you, embody who you are. Like I said, be careful of those fake spiritualists. That could be someone here. <laughs> Those people that are actually more religious, but they're trying to act like they're spiritual, or some of them are like Luciferians or atheists, which is okay. You don't have to believe in a higher power or God or anything like that. It's what you do with that type of belief. And if you're using it for malice and then trying to portray to be someone spiritual, just so you can get into a connection with someone that can manifest, that knows how to manifest, that's where it starts getting a little shady, right? And there's people out there that do this. Trying to harness your power for themselves to manifest their best life. Don't fall into that one. Okay? Because it's right here. You have karmics that are going to want to try to be like you, embody your energy, or try to get with you. Because this is pretty noticeable right now. You're a god or goddess, and you're a part of something much bigger. It's a confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. So this is not a joke. Energy does not lie. And those who understand what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. If you're not in this energy, this is going to be hard to understand. Yeah, you're weathering the storm, pushing through fear. And obstacles and spirit is paving the way for happiness and abundance and so are you and you are a beautiful disaster chaos and storm like I said you will trigger others you do break the facades the faulty um, foundations that are built by being you but you're walking in happiness and abundance so you know that you know that that's your power change and adapting event environment to a different environment okay so there could be some moving here for some of you again working with warrior goddesses or gods tribe in spirit or physical you will meet other people alike as well and there you go freedom of constraints relief and liberation look at that you're right there okay exactly compassionate loving nurturing healer male or female rising from the ashes reborn stronger and better than ever before beautiful breaking from the chains you disintegrated those chains and there ain't no going back and you're meant to have some sort of union union here eternity 
and divine love. You're also in union with the divine is what I'm getting here. You understood that you are divine love and you are an eternal being. Look at that. Purity. Divine love. Beautiful. Yeah. Intellectual, mature, foresight, supportive. Self-control, strength, and boldness. Because it takes being bold to be in this energy and not giving a F what other people have to say, think, or do about it. You've met many sharks. And now you've learned not to fear people in their shadow. Because you're in control of your own power. Beautiful. Yep. Moving ahead, long distance travel for some of you, looking forward to a new chapter and new creation. That's beautiful, guys. So let's get into a little bit of who you are here and this part of your purpose here. teacher it says your words have the power to heal making you a source of light for the wounded that come to you for guidance and wisdom to give them strength and direction because you've been there those are the best teachers the ones that have been through the mill and understand the way out. We have manipulator. Okay? It's not what you think though. But you have the power. But because you're in the right energy, you don't use this power for malice. Okay? If it if this energy was in the hands of like a karmic, a lower vibrational energy, they would use this for malice. Not you. Okay? It says you can transform into someone that you are not, excuse me, oh, okay, you can transform into someone you are not to fit your agenda, making you extremely crafty in achieving your dreams and goals. Be sure to use your gift wisely. So, some of you could be shapeshifters. Some of you will act accordingly to the every room you enter into because you are trying to mold yourself, not, not become part of the group, not when you're high vibing. You are trying to analyze your surrounding by sort of blending in, even though you're not part of the group. And you understand that you are different. Okay? So, you can be anyone to fit your agenda, making you extremely crafty in achieving your dreams. So, when it comes to, let's say, career, you can be quite persuasive. Once, you know, you, you, you're, you, know you get into this confident, courageous energy where you don't allow... The room to dim your light and you do it confidently you can become whatever you want let's say you go to a job interview and you you're going in there with the mindset because this is how you manifest with the mindset that this part is for me this job is for me if you go to an audition I'm getting this audition this is this is I'm playing the part of this movie I'm playing the part in this video. I'm I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And you can become that person they're looking for. 
because you are the high priestess here. So you you would have a sense of what that manager, company, or CEO, whatever, is looking for, and you act accordingly. That's very powerful, actually. Right? It's a very good gift to have if you're pursuing acting. One more. Telepathy. There you go. You can tap into the psyche of others. Telepathy and High Priestess. Your gift of telepathy is strong with the ability to read minds, project thoughts, that's another way, okay, into the minds of others and understand your own body and mind as well as others. You're very good at body language. You can use your body language. You can project thoughts onto others. So if you want that job or you want something where there's a third person in order to get it, not in a malicious way, it could be something simple. Like let's say you want to eat out at a specific restaurant and you know that someone is taking you out on a date without saying anything. You can project that thought into that person. And all of a sudden, they'll be like, oh, you know what? I was thinking about taking you. Or all of a sudden, you're at the parking lot of that restaurant. You're like, oh, I was thinking about that. Or you can play coy if you know what you're doing, obviously. <laughs> be like, oh, okay, I've never been here. I always wanted to come here. But you projected that thought into that person's mind. That's how powerful you are. So right next to manipulation and teacher... <laughs> You can't school a teacher here. Uh uh. This is a mastermind. Do you understand? With Merkaba and 33 here, there is nothing you can't do in this life. Endless possibilities tapping into this inner power. Like, mastermind. <laughs> You are a true alchemist and a true magician. It's like you, you, you swim through the thoughts of others and can figure their thoughts out and then project your own onto them to get a specific result. And it's not in a, in a low vibrational way because you're very high vibrational. So you're not misusing this power. But boy, if anybody else had this power... You know, you went through the inner work to get to that power. There's a reason why God doesn't just give this type of power to just anybody. Telepathy? No, it's not going to happen with a low vibrational person. Um, and the ability to project thoughts onto others? you got to be somewhat skilled for that. Because a lot of people are too busy with other thoughts, overthinking and stuff like that. So, it... it, it it's not just the projection of the thought. It's kind of like the energy you put certain people in. And your energy speaks for itself. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, guys. So whatever you're honing in on, uh, you're, you're, and, you know, it's part of your, your, your gifted, your spiritually gifted. Uh, whether you, you're at this level right now or this is where you're, like, this is what you're obtaining for yourself earth you have a strong connection to earth making you great at earth magic you are a pillar of strength with firm boundaries who demand respect in a very graceful manner what I say before you don't even have to say a word your energy speaks for itself high priestess of fire it's in your eyes okay a lot of you have those penetrating eyes that just says it all. Your demeanor, the way you carry yourself, your essence, your presence, your energy, your vibration, your frequency, strong, powerful, resilient, warrior. It says it all. Wow. What an energy. You are a true goddess or god here. For sure. Very much connected. I mean, wow, collective. <laughs> That's crazy. And you are a sweetheart on top of that. Yeah, we saw the Queen of Cups. 
okay? You lift from love, seeing the divinity and love beneath the surface and shaping others' worlds and experiences through the perception of the heart. What a beautiful thing. Exactly. Which just really confirms that you don't come from a place of malice here. You come from a place of compassion. And that is possibly humanity's biggest challenge. Is to find compassion even through the trials and tribulations. And that is a true testament to your faith. Your faith in self-love, your faith in love itself, your faith in people, and your acceptance. Peaceful warrior, Archangel Ariel, and honor your feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand by, stand my ground with peace, not with war or wanting to win at all costs, right? And thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. There you go. And anything that um, seems confusing, any words, you know, do your own research on. Dig a little deeper for yourself. And go on your own journeys here. You will be surprised where it leads. Trust your vibes. Thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Allow spirit in. And allow them to help heal your heart and open your heart so that you can invite things that are made of love and come from love into your life. So I leave you with that. And we have the miracle of nature. Thank you angels for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. Make sure you surround yourself with the high vibrational energy of the sun, the birds, the trees, the leaves, the sounds, the elements of earth, water, air, and fire. You are connected to the earth. Grounding is very important as well. Walking around with no shoes for at least 10 minutes, whether it's on the beach or in your backyard, wherever you can safely do this. Meditation outside by water, preferably. Going for a swim. When it's a breezy day, opening up your arms and allow the wind to purify your energy, because wind is also purifying. Sitting by a fire, okay? You have the energy of working with earthly magic. Magic is not always dark. Magic is no, neither dark nor light, is what you do with it. And people speak magic into existence every day. Whether it's self-hatred or hatred for others or self-love and love for others. You are of the loving kind. Thank the Lord because uh, this would be <laughs> quite a dangerous thing to have for people in their shadow. Alright? I wish you guys the best. Continue to have faith in your path, in your journey, and accepting what is you're about to take a leap somewhere else and destiny is taking you somewhere quickly there's a, also a timeline jump that I see here um, where things are aligning for you in a very positive high vibrational way especially with abundance royalty prosperity and the number 777 very significant it's time for you to reap the rewards and also be recognized for who you really are and what you really bring to the table. 
So I leave you with that. And I love you all. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments if you resonate. Peace.